All right, hey everybody. So welcome to another Wicked Movie video. So for today's video, one of the biggest questions I think heading into award season, um, as you know, look, I think that Wicked is definitely going to be up for several awards and several, uh, it's gonna actually gonna be like a major player uh, come award season. So like one of the biggest questions heading into award season was where is Ariana Grande and Cynthia Revo gonna be placed? Like in terms of lead actress and supporting actress, where are they going to be placed? Are they both going to go for the same category? Are they going to be in different categories? Like, how are they going to place these two? Well, thanks to The Hollywood Reporter, The Hollywood Reporter is reporting exclusively that Cynthia Revo will be going for lead actress and Ariana Grande will be campaigned in supporting actress. Now, originally, when the show first premiered, uh, Kristen Chenoweth and Adina Menzel both went out for the same category. They both ended up getting nominated, uh, but only one of them ended up winning. Um, I'm actually very happy that they are doing this. I'm actually very happy that they are putting, you know, one of them in a lead and the other in supporting because I think that The Hollywood Reporter correctly points out is that this year the actress categories are going to be so stacked that one of them was not going to get nominated, that if they both went for the same category, one of them was not going to get nominated because especially with the category being so stacked this year, uh, there was always the chance that, 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 ne that either one of them was not going to get nominated or neither of them was actually going to get, ended up getting nominated. Uh, but with this chance, they actually both have, you know, an equal chance to actually get nominated with Cynthia Revo going for lead and Ariana Grande being campaign for supporting. And I actually agree with this placement. Uh, if you really look at the plot, if you really look at, you know, the show, Elphaba is the lead of the show. Elphaba is the lead character. Now, you can make an argument that this is a two-hander between the two, but I think that if you are going to place them in terms of award season, I think that you would go um, Elphaba in lead and Galinda in supporting. I'm saying Galinda. I'm not, you know, stumbling over those words because that is her name before it switches to Galinda. So in, you know, in the first part, you are going to be hearing the name Galinda. That's why you hear Michelle Yeoh in the trailers go, you will be rooming with Miss Galinda. You do not hear her saying Glinda. You hear her saying Galinda. Um, but yeah, no, uh, Cynthia Revo will be in lead and Ariana Grande will be in supporting. And I do think that they both have a phenomenal chance of getting nominated in both categories. Um, I do believe that Wicked will be a major awards player. I am still, you know, sticking to that prediction, sight unseen, with everything that I've seen from the trailers, with everything that I've seen from the TV spots, with everything that I've seen, you know, from the marketing, there is no doubt in my mind that Wicked will be a major, major, major awards player. And you know what? It will sweep the Golden Globes. I really do think that if there's any award show where this thing is really going to excel, where it's really, really, really going to get nominated and really, really, really win, it's going to be at the Golden Globes. I really do believe that I don't think anything's going to beat. I don't think that Joker is going to beat it. Um, Amelia Perez could end up, you know, um, giving it a run for its money. But I really do believe that come awards season, especially with the Golden Globes, uh, we are going to hear, you know, the phrases, you know, Golden Globe winner, Cynthia Revo, Golden Globe winner, Ariana Grande, or if Amelia Perez ends up, you know, getting some stuff, then a, a Golden Globe winner, uh, Best Actress, um, Selena Gomez. Uh, so jump down to the comment section below. Let me know what you think about all this. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your continued love and support. As always, remember, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's go through all the stuff you'll be able to find on this channel right now. So I'll be bringing you guys constant, constant, constant updates on the After Film series. It ends with us. Hush, hush, the mister, the ballad of songbirds and snakes, sunrise on the reaping, crave, wicked, midnight sun, the animated series. Uh, Red, White, and Royal Blue 2, The Culpables franchise, and a whole bunch of other book-to-entertainment adaptations as we go through the life of this channel. You guys are going to be so updated that you'll be begging me to stop the updates. 
because I was terminated for so long, there's still some stuff from after we collided that I do have to catch up on, including topic videos, and those are coming sooner rather than later. As always, remember, this channel would not be able to go to the heights that it has without you guys, and so for that, I'm eternally grateful. You know, I know there are plenty of fans out there, old and new, who have no idea, absolutely no idea that this channel exists or this even back from termination in the first place, so please keep sharing the channel. Please keep spreading the word of Charles's movie channel, because this will easily be one of the best, not the best, book to entertainment adaptation channels you'll find right here on youtube or dare i say anywhere so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already keep liking keep subscribing keep sharing my name is charles welcome to the book to entertainment adaptation channel i'll see you later uh book to entertainment fans take care y'all love you